Hello, today's tutorial is going to be about tween servers. Let's get right into it. So I want this part to go from being white to red. So let's add a script and we'll just do local part equals script.parent because the script is inside the part. And we'll do task.wait five seconds. I want just so we can watch the part change color. I'm going to do part dot color equals color three dot from RGB. And we're going to do red. So if we uh, play the game, it walks to that part. It's going to turn red. What if you want it to smoothly fade red instead of just snapping to red? Well, that's where tween service comes into play. You can do local ps equals game colon get service tween service. And now we can actually use the tween service. So we can just copy this little ts. I like to do ts because it's a little neater. And we can do ts create. And now the first parameter is the part you want to edit. So in our case, part. The uh, next one is the tween info. How it's like the information that's going to be used for the animation. So we'll do tween info dot new. And the first thing you put is how long it takes. So I want it to take three seconds to fully fade. We'll skip and we'll, pat another, we'll pull another comma. And now you add curly brackets. And now, so we, we have the part, but we want to change the color. So if you were to click this part in the explorer, you'll see that the color value is literally just named color. So we'll do color equals, and now we have to set it to what we want the value to change to. So we'll do color three from RGB, just like we did before. We'll make it red. Let's remove this code. Uh, you add the colon, play. You'll see that after five seconds, it will smoothly turn red. That's pretty cool, but it gets better. You're not limited to just color. We can actually change the position. So like, say we had another part. So we'll just duplicate this part. We'll name this part end. Uh, no, not end, because that's, yeah. We'll do end POS for position. We'll just make the part invisible, and we'll delete the script from inside of it. So we can do local end position equals game.workspace dot in position. So say we wanted the part to turn red, and we wanted the part to move to that other part's position. And instead of color, we'll actually use something called C-frame. Because, like... It's a C frame is the mixture. It's like a mixture between position and rotation. So we can do C frame equals end position dot C frame. Not bad. So if we took the second part and we put it like here, we're just going to place the uh, part on top of the end position and let's drag it up in the air. Say I wanted like this to drop. So I'm going to make this invisible again. I want this to fall as if it was like a bouncy ball. Oh, I forgot to anchor. <laughs> Don't make my mistake. Anchor all your parts, people. So we're anch we'll anchor uh, those parts. Now I want it to fall as if it were a bouncy ball. But when it plays, that doesn't look like a bouncy ball at all. Well, there's actually a fix for that. So if you look at tween info, you can actually add a bunch more. So let's remove uh, tween info for both of these. And we're going to do local pi for tween info equals tween info dot new just like we did before our parentheses i cannot speak and instead of just putting a number we're going to put a bunch of enters give ourselves some space so if you read up here the first thing it's saying is time so like you know the amount of time it takes for the animation to play we're going to make it three seconds and we're going to add a comma this time and underneath there's easing style now if you've never animated before easing style might seem a bit complicated but it's really easy so i'll try to explain it for you We'll do enum dot easing style dot and there's a bunch of settings like a bunch of little like animation styles so we were on linear before and it's like a straight line a constant speed but if we were to add like if we set it to bounce instead of linear and we added a comma it would bounce like a ball the second thing is easing direction so we do enum dot easing direction dot in there's three settings this time there's out in out and in you can mess around with these, but like if we do in and add our comma, I'll show you what that looks like. The next thing in tween, uh, yeah, the next thing inside of tween info is repeats. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the amount of times you want the animation to repeat itself. So we're going to set it to zero. And reverses works with repeats. So like if the part changes to red and reverses is set to false, which is like what we're going to do, the animation won't like smoothly replay itself. It will just snap from red back to white. But if reverses is turned on, it will smoothly fade back from red to white. So it's really up to preference. Say you had a wall that was moving back and forth, you'd want to use uh, reverses. You want them to be enabled. Otherwise, the wall is just going to snap from point A 
I went from point B back to point A. If that makes any sense. Delay time is just the amount of time the animation will wait before it plays, so we want to be zero. Oh, we don't need to add a comma, I don't think. All right, so now we have our actual tween info. So we'll take that and we'll paste it where our old tween info used to be. And if we go and play it, you'll see that it bounces, but it's in reverse. And that's because of the easing direction. So like, since it's in reverse, we'll set it to out. And if we play it again, it will fall slowly as if it was like a ball. So I recommend you like experiment with the easing styles. There's a like, I don't know, there's a lot of them and they're all pretty cool. So yeah, that's a simple way to animate a part. Now one thing I recommend you do is instead of animating the part on the server, it's best to animate it on the client. So like you could add a script into the starter character. And we could just copy all this code and paste it. Instead of adding script.parent, we're gonna do game.workspace.part. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna disable the script and workspace. And one thing you'll notice is immediately the animation's a lot smoother. So when it falls, it's like before it was falling at 40 frames per second, but now it's smooth. What's going on with that? Well, animations like tweens are actually pretty laggy when used on the server. So it's always recommended you do them locally. So whenever you can, try to use tweening on the client only, unless you absolutely have to do it on the server. A few more cool things you can do with tweens is you can actually make it a variable. So let's copy both. Actually, we'll, we'll do local change color equals, and we'll do local move part equals, and we'll remove the play from both of these. So now we can manually play them. So we can do change color, dot, I mean change color, pull and play, move part, pull and play. And you're probably wondering what's the purpose of this? It was, it does the exact same thing. Well, now that's a variable, there's a few things you can do. So you could do like, for example, move part, pause. So like if we do move part and we do pass dot uh, wait three, I mean, no, pass that way 0 0.5 or uh, no, we'll do one. God, I cannot think. And we do move part, uh, pause. The part will just stop moving mid air. Like it'll, I don't know if think it's going to get very far. It's going to move down and it's not going to. Yeah, you could just stop it. And then in order to like resume it, you could just pass out wait one. You could do play again. So it's going to freeze for a little bit and then it's just going to as if it never stopped. But you could also, if, instead of pausing, you could do cancel, which is going to completely like, you see how it remembered that it was falling, like it was like time stop. But now instead, it's going to make a whole new animation. So it's going to like, it's falling hard, but the bounce is going to be very little now because it just made a, it like replayed the entire tween instead of resuming. And one more thing you can also do is you can wait for a tween to be completed. Now you could do, so say we wanted to wait till the tween, like the part landed on the ground before we uh, change its color. We can do move part dot completed wait. And then we could paste the change color script underneath it. So the part's gonna fall. And then when the part fully stops moving, it will begin to turn red. So it's not ready yet, but the second it stops moving, it's red. And you could also do like if you wanted to connect a function instead of just having another line of code underneath here, you can move part that completed connect function. And now you can just paste that in there. So if you go and play it in studio, you'll see that it has the same effect. Yeah, there's also a parameter you can uh, have. It's called playback. So we'll just do playback. And if we do print playback, when the uh, part fully falls, we'll get something in our output. And it says completed. So yeah, that's a simple explanation of tween service. And there's a lot you can do with it from making doors that move to even editing values. So experiment to your heart's content. Just make sure that if you're tweening a lot of things, it's done on the client. Don't do it on the server. It's pretty laggy. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.